Welcome to Excel 2010 Business Math Video 26.5. And if you want to download this workbook, Excel 2010 Business Math Chapter 3, click on the link below the video. Hey, we're going to start on the sheet rounding percent. And we've got to talk about rounding percents. Here's our decimal. And if we were to convert this to a percentage, we could do something like this. Click on that cell. right? That's got general number formatting. But if we choose a percentage, right? we could get it as a percentage. Now, here's the problem. If someone tells you to round, and they use this kind of language, round percentage to the nearest tenth, you have to respect the fact that that formatting is applied. And they're talking about the formatting. right? You also might see this, round to the nearest tenth of a percent. So I'm just going to write this down here, uh, 0.0125. I'm going to repeat this. And then I'm going to add. Notice, that's the number in the cell. And then I'm going to repeat this. I'm going to apply the percentage. So the 2, um, someone says this, round to the nearest tenth of position. There's the tenth position right there, the, the decimal of the tenth, the hundredth. So that's the position we need to round to. So the 2 is in the tenth position. When doing it by hand, right, you're looking at the surface on the top. Round to there, that's 5 or greater. So we hack everything off and add 1. So this would become 1.3%. That's how you do it by hand. But now, what if you're given this right here, and you want to officially do it in a formula? Well, here's the deal. If you use the round function, the formulas don't look at formatting. You must consider the underlying number. So the underlying number, and I'm going to do this. It sucked the formatting, but I'm going to wipe it away. If you are going to use the round function to round that, formulas don't look at the formatting. They're looking at the underlying number. So even though the original statement says round to the nearest tenth of a percent, you have to respect that. It's to that position. But you have to, in your mind, say, oh, but underneath is the number. And so the 2 is actually in the third position the thousandth position. So the way we memorize this is there's um, a decimal. That's 1, 2. If that's 2, that's 3. So to get the round function, to round the number in the cell underneath the percentage number format, in this particular circumstance, we're going to the uh, tenth of a percent. That's the formula. And that will work. Remember, you've got to think about the underlying number. All right, let's try another one. Here is, you know, and you don't have to do this step right here if you can do it in your head. But the instructions say round to the nearest percent. There it is. It's to the integer in terms of the percentage number format. So 1, 2, that makes us 2, 1, 0. No problem. If you can do that, you come down here and just do round to the 0, but no problem. If you can't remember, just go, OK. Let's see what the underlying number is. I wipe away the uh, percentage number formatting with general. OK, so here it says to the nearest percent, which is right there. But the 5 in the underlying number is 1, 2. So to get this to work, you click on that, and you must round to the 2, even though it says to the nearest percent. Exactly right. If we did it by hand, we'd look to there. We'd say we want to round to there. Look there, 5 or greater. Hack everything off and add 1 to there, and it's 6. All right, round to the nearest hundredth of a percent. So in this case, that we're looking at the formatted version, 1, 2. So we need to round to there. If we were doing it by hand, right? we would, we're would rounding to there. So we look there, it's 5. That's great. We have something greater than 5. So we hack everything off, add 1 to there. So it should become one point. Four, six. So the answer should be 1.46. But if you're doing it with a uh, round function, it might be helpful to look at what's underneath. I'm going to apply the general. Oh, 1, 2. So it's that first 5. So it's actually 1, 2, 3, 4. So equals round equals round this number comma 4. And that'll give us 1.46%. Four, All right, that's a little bit about um, when you encounter uh, instructions that tell you to round to some percent. You got to remember, if you use the round function, 
functions don't look at the formatted version. They look at the underlying number. All right, see you next video.